what is going on everybody yes before i start this video i'm out of my work well i'm out of my work clothes so my hair is done did done up i don't know how you say that if that's even close to being southern so you guys actually can see the hair pulled back instead of having a baseball cap on in the video i would throw some uh crazy like applause or something into here but i'm just not that high speed right now all right this is gonna be a real quick video too guys um this was brought to my attention. I'm going to flip back over here, and we'll come right back to this, I promise. The PSA reveal camera. So yesterday, remember, oh, actually, whenever I, I showed the um, top or the redemption, it came in, the Wembyama. A lot of people took notice to this address up here. Fulfillment Services. Algo Algona or Algong, I don't know if that's an A at the end or not, but Washington. And I was informed. Let me go back to the other camera. And I was informed this is the address that Com C ships from. Now I will say the first person that told me this also confirmed at the National that Fanatics leaked that they are using Com C as their fulfillment services for their redemption. So that explains this crappy package on a card that's valued over $1,000. Completely, completely does it. Now I understand the whole thing onto it. Uh, you know, it was a little bit mind-boggling at first onto it, and I was like, why would this multi-billion dollar company do this? So my next question comes into play here. If this is true, this is just what has been told to me. I don't know if it's true or not. I'm just re re giving you guys back what it was given to me. Now, if this is even true that this is happening, the Comp C is fulfilling Toss Redemptions. Now, you got to remember, Comp C does this for Upper Deck, too. So, anybody does Upper Deck EPAC, when you go to get those cards live, Comp C is shipping them, okay? It's nothing new. It's been being done at least since Connor McDavid's rookie year, whenever they started the whole EPAC stuff. But here's my question. When you're dealing with redemptions, all right, how do they service the substitutions now? Because here's the thing. I put that in because I knew it was live. Boom, got it, right? I still have other ones there underneath uh, pending substitution for, oh, gosh, probably two, three years now. There's no option to click, nothing else to do. How does that work if you're using a, like a third-party shipper already for your redemptions? I mean, I, I don't really know. It's just some of the things that are popping up into my head and thinking and stuff like that there. So this is just a little warno for all you military guys out there, warning order. If you guys are planning on getting anything from Tops. No, it's probably coming, or Tops Fanatics. It's coming out of Com C, and their packaging's horrible. It don't matter the price of that card. The one thing I will say is that Panini at least shipped this stuff very, very well. It was presentable. eBay, do that authentic, what do they call it, authenticity program. I almost said authentic program. <laughs> but uh, through their program, ships it nice and neat, makes it like a nice warm filling when you get that card in, you know. Tops, yeah, we're gonna throw in two bubble in this top loader, whatever. It, it nothing's changed. My whole thing is all these promises have been made by fanatics when they acquire tops and they're doing all this stuff. Less of a production run, not even close to a check. The redemption thing, it's going horrible. The more production of their cards, even worse. And if you really think about it. Everybody's going to have different opinions on these breaker rules and the shop rules and everything else. Just kind of crazy. But why will Fanatics sit there and not say, hey, Com sees our fulfillment center? It's kind of weird. Upper Deck, it's known. It's on the site when you go to check out and everything like that. It's You can't miss it, you know? But when you're doing your redemption through Tops Fanatics, Fanatics Tops, however you want to say it, there I've never seen anything on it. Um, I don't mind showing this here because there's nothing here other than this is my PO box. But it's for FedEx, so you have to go to the street address. They can't use the PO box type deal. But nothing on it. You guys tell me. I mean, what do you guys feel about this? You know, I, I don't think we're being lied to or nothing like that by any means. 
but why hide it? It should be saying these redemptions are being shipped through um, ComC Fulfillment Center, whatever it may be. You know, because then you can, or like they do with um, Upper Deck, I, th I know you have an option to get the thing top load and all this other stuff like that there. Why not give me an option to have the card put in a one touch and then sealed by tops? I'll pay the money for the one touch, really. Especially if it's a valuable card, you know? I don't know, just some things I'm thinking outside the a box on, too, and that, because to me, the more and more I see this, the less and less I'm impressed with what's going on by Fanatics Tops. Um, you know, I still will just go out and rather buy the card. I probably won't buy Wax. You guys probably won't see what ripping any unless it's, like, some kind of crazy deal that I find, like, in Storage Unit Wars or something. I don't know. But... Yeah, I'm just curious what everybody else thinks. Did anybody else know that this stuff is coming from Com C? I mean, can, I, I can't really verify it other than that address and then people pointing it out to me. And you know, I appreciate everybody told me. Um, you know, I, I had no idea. I just thought it was the worst package I ever seen in my life. But just thought I'd bring this up, see if anybody else has any food for the thought onto it. Um, you know, any kind of opinions onto it. You know, they're supposed to be listening to what the customer wants out there. And I think the majority, they're not listening to the majority of us. They're listening to a few select, I, I hate using somebody else's catchphrase, but hobby heroes that haven't been doing this that long. They have no idea. They're out of touch. That's just my thoughts. Better than that, guys. I am out. Look forward to your comments. See y'all next one.